going on guys? Today we're going to do something new that I didn't really even know was a thing until a couple weeks ago. It's called snapping turtle noodling. Now everybody's heard of catfish noodling where you reach up into a hole, grab a catfish by the mouth and haul it out. And uh, I'm assuming you don't do snapping turtle noodling the exact same way because the guy that's taking us out today has all ten fingers and he's been doing it for years. So I know uh, Jake here, he's real excited to get up in the river and get his hand in a hole and drag one out yeah. hopefully be a good day catch a handful of them here and uh, make sure to get it all on video for you guys so welcome to PA Wild today we're doing an episode on turtle noodling which is something I'd never heard of before until I found Joe on Facebook he's an avid turtle noodler knows what he's doing he's been doing this a long time uh, kind of go ahead and explain how you go about finding them where they're gonna be at in the stream and how you, how you get them out of the hole yeah, what we do is we kind of look for uh, muddy root banks. Uh, you don't want to you don't want to fish a rocky stream uh, or spring spring water fed stream. You want to fish a, a muddy root bank. Uh, what we look for is brush piles that's washed up against the, the side of the thing. What a turtle will do is he'll go in there and lay during the day. He does a lot of his feeding at night, so we get a lot of like we call them sleepers. So what they'll do is they'll they'll go in there and they're pretty calm. Uh, we'll reach in and find them and pull them out, you know, but. Uh, Muddy, muddy streams with root banks, that's what we're looking for uh, on a stream. So. so we're hoping to get into some today. It's going to be a good day, and stay tuned for some action. I get big fish sometimes underneath your feet. Something just hit my leg. Uh, yeah, deep, deep water. Real deep, real deep water is kind of hard to fish sometimes because you can't, like this is kind of deep in here, but I can't get back here to... You can't get back in the whole well, way. yeah, I mean I can feel so far, but it's it's deep, but if you get along, if you want mud, like where you can reach, like back in here would be good. Here's the they'll do is he'll lay up underneath there and if you look on top of their on their top of their head they got them two little nostrils with breathing holes what they'll do is he'll lay there and he'll lay up under here and then he'll just poke his head up it's just the tip of his nose a lot of times in ponds you'll just see him pop pop in there mm -hmm. all you see is their nose they're just breathing that's what they do and he'll lay and if he needs air he'll just go up and pop his head up and he'll just breathe underneath there so any kind of root bank if he's up under that I call it red root, a lot of that red root. He'll just pop his, just his head up, just the tip of his nose. Just... Oh, there we go. Small one. That's what they look like. But yeah, he was moving. I... Where'd you reach on him at when you found him there? Well, I, when I went back, I just throw my hands. I start throwing my hands out, feeling, feeling all around. I don't know if I, I missed him the first time, or if he just came up and he was moving. He was moving, but he wasn't like laying there. A lot of times they're just laying there real calm. I just when I when I swung my hand, I, I hit a shell and I felt him going. I just pinned him down. But uh, what you do on a turtle? So when you find a turtle laying there in the mud, what I do is when I got my hands on his shell like this. The first thing I do is I'll go up here along the edges and I'll feel, you'll start feeling smooth up here. When you get down here, you got the ridges, edges. Mm -hmm. That's where so, you want to be, it's back well, there. Well, I'll go down the side and I'll go like this, I'll go around, and as soon as I feel these, I know that's where the tail is. Mm -hmm. He'll be laying up underneath there, you know, his tail. But uh, I, a lot of times I'll reach in there when they're sleeping, I'll touch them right on their heads and I'll, I'll feel that smooth. Sometimes I get them by the head, but I'll go around the edges. And I, I, I go back towards the back. That's where his tail's going to be. So, all right. That's how you get them. I got a decent snapper right here. It, oh, cow. Oh. oh yeah. He's facing this way. He's facing. He's not a real big turtle. But I, I go ahead. Just. Get your hand in. I'm gonna let you follow my hand back in. I'll let you feel this what I here. Yeah, you might. Uh, yeah, follow back. 
Now let's, I'm going to put your hand on its shell. You feel that? Okay. Now what I do. Just feel where the. Yeah. Now go back. I feel this is smooth. What so I that's do. that's his head. Well, his head's up here. Yeah. Now go, go back towards the left. What you're going to do is I'm going to let get out of here. Get your other hand, but you want, you want to keep him away from his head. He's, he's a sleeper. Okay. He's sleeping. But as soon as you move him, he's going to be snapping. He's not a real big turtle, but I'm going to let you go. Get your other hand. All right, and what he's doing is he's buried in the mud, so his tail's going to be... Down in. Yeah. You, is I this think, your hand? Yes. Okay. His tail's going to be buried. He's. I'm going to lift him up a little bit. All right, you feel moving? Get your hand on I got my hand around his tail there. Okay. Now, now hang on. Get both hands on him, and watch, because he'll slip out if you try to, like, just pull. Now, just try pulling him, just like what I told you. Just try pulling and see what I, I'm talking about. I think I got him. Okay, here. now, push in and pull. Oh yeah, that worked. Push in, push in. Keep pushing in and pulling. Alright, I got him here. He ain't gonna get you. You got him. A little guy. Six pounder, eight pounder, maybe. Oh, we'll keep him for 50. Is it good to hold him back here underneath yeah. the shell like that? Yeah. A lot of people say don't hold my a small turtle you ain't gonna hurt them. A big turtle you can actually feel their your tail cracking. I mean you can mess up their spine. I get them by the back legs or, or the side like that. Okay. We call that the squeeze uh, that's fine where you hold them like that. I'm back, congratulations. Thank you. First turtle, buddy. That's how you do it. That's awesome. The ridges on the top. Yeah. You'll feel these ridges yeah, up. Yeah, I feel here. the ridges. Okay, then as you go back, go underneath. Now go rub, go down along yeah, the side of the shell. Feel the points. Yeah. Okay. He he'll yeah, tuck his tail. Bro, I got another one. He'll tuck his I tail. Like oh, Take he's big. Uh -huh. See a nice one? Yeah, he is. All right. This is worth my. Go go underneath here. Yeah. Go underneath the shell. Yeah. Right here. Is anyone? Right here. No. I got him by the tail. Just... All right. Just keep working my way. You know his tail? I'm afraid. You're on his tail. He's, he's out. Yeah. All right. Now hang on tight. Just yank him. Don't let him go. Yeah. Got him tight as you can. Yeah. Bring him out. Yeah. All right, now take your other arm and get on his tail. Uh -huh. And the trick is, don't if you push and pull, sometimes you don't lose him. Just hang on to push in and pull. There you, you go. Push in and pull. <laughs> He's a good one, huh? Yeah. Hold him up. Let me see. There you go. Good job, boys. Good job. This is what it's all about. That's <laughs> awesome. The I don't want you know, like, you don't want to hold whatever your thing. Because you'll feel their, they'll feel their, their spine cracking. Mm -hmm. But on, on smaller ones, it ain't near as bad. He, he is right. So, uh, the other Joe left us a little bit ago. We were over in a hole back over there. And uh, he reached in, got his hand caught on something. We're not sure if it was a turtle or a can or a broken bottle, but he got cut up pretty good right here. So, he went back to go get some stitches. And we're going to carry on and see if we can get some more turtles today. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's the little guy. I said we'd catch a couple today. We don't get a whole lot of them. Let me get a picture of you. He's not far under there. Just follow, follow, come straight down to hit my arm. Okay, you got my hand? Now go back here. I'm gonna put your hand on his shell. You feel? You feel? Um, feel? Go straight yeah, back. Go back for it. All right, now he's starting to pull. I got him right by the back leg. Come, reach down in here, and I got him by the tail. Okay. I think I have your hand on. Yeah. Well, Phil's tail. You got his tail. Or right, grip onto it. You got his tail. He I can't so. bite you. Well, I know you got his tail. Just hang on to it. All right. All right, you got his tail? Yep. All right, now listen. Get your other arm in there and get both hands on his tail. You all right? You got him? Back this tail. Okay, he, he can't bite you. Okay, but don't let him go. You just, when you pull him out. Now the trick is, you want to push in and pull, release them claws. Just 
Okay, he's coming out. He's in. He's in some mud. Get both hands on him. Go he'll slip. There, he'll slip off if you don't keep both hands on him. Push in and pull. Stuck in these. Push in. I have one coming out. All right. Got a little of them. Good size pearl. Turn them. Turn this way. Right. See if you can get them in underneath yeah, the shell this. there. Right back in there, like I have this one here. Let, let your hand go. I'll just grab the tail then. Once I get to the yeah, I'll have to go. Yeah, go ahead. Let him go. All right. Yeah, right like that. Yeah. Or get him one by the back leg. Uh, get him by the back leg. All right, you got him? Let's yeah. so you know. oh. That's a good size turtle. Not bad. I'd say 16 pounds, 17 maybe. Not a bad turtle. I bad can't one. get him out of that root though. Yeah, the trick is bit. push in and pull. You could have the strongest guy in the world. If you just try to pull, you're never going to get him out. Because he wasn't even stuck in the mud. I just couldn't no. get him to come out through those roots. Well, the trick is, like I said, the, the harder you push in, I mean, you could have probably done it one time. If you would just and then pull it, pulled, it would have come right out. But they lock, what they do is they lock them claws on. Once they mm -hmm. lock on, you're done. Hang on to him. All right, pick him up. i grab his tail. Here's his tail. He's digging in hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm still here. All right. I want to pull on his tail too hard. Yeah, watch that. Right. You know what he just lay up under there, though? Yeah. He don't think much. I, I seen where something stirred that up. I figured, well, there's something in there. So I'm trying to clear out. You can look at them. I remember when I was little, my great uncle used to trap them. Yeah. And he would get like, they're like this big yeah. around. Well, out, we of, get, out of ponds and stuff. We get big ones they're, like they're here. Nice. When I started first fishing this, I'm, I've been fishing this for almost 40 years with my mm -hmm. dad years ago. We used to get big monsters and we started taking them for soup over yeah, the years. Yeah. And we basically cleaned the big ones out. But I left a 33 pounder going here last year. I quite, anymore, I kind of, the bigger ones, I kind of feel bad because I, I try to leave some bigger ones. So. Yeah. Then, yeah, a 20 pound turtle, like that biggest one we caught today, yeah. that's perfect for soup. Yeah, you I, don't need to kill, no, you don't need no. to kill a 35 pounder. I mean, turtle soup's good for too. guys turtle. that trapping that, they yeah. don't get the turtles like I yeah. catch. Yeah. So I can go out any, I, I've caught 46 in three days, uh -huh. whatever I catch today is on top. So I can yeah. go out for, for as many turtles as I keep, two or three, oh, yeah. I can just kind of pick and choose what yeah, I exactly. want. So, but I mean, for a guy trapping pond, plus the farmers want them on their yeah. ponds. They're, yeah. they're, they're killing the ducks and all the fishing and the ponds are a little different, but like yeah. things like, like this is. Yep, you'll get big turtles in farm You might want to come put this hand in this hole here. Go down below this river. Because you ain't, you ain't going to get them out of that hole. Alright, you feel the shell? Now, see if you can get You got it still? Yep. All right, what you're going to do is get his thing on, so I'm going to pull all these roots. You got both the hands on the tail? All right, just, just don't, don't pull yet. All right. Let me, let me, get, let me get these roots out. Let me get these roots out. See if you can, see if you can bring them out. I'll push in and pull. Push, yep. Push in and pull.
here, reaching. I got him by. Let's just go go underneath his shell. Nope, he's crawling. Little shell. Go go underneath my hands. Yeah. You got his tail? I got it. Yeah, I got his tail. Yeah. Oh, you got his tail? Good. Yeah. All right, hang on to him. Do I get him turned into some? Huh? See if you can see if you can reach under the bank right here. Mm -hmm. He's facing this way now. Like facing toward the bank. Reach your hand over here. Right where my knee is. He's, he's completely turned around. Oh, there's a roots blocking it and it's on the ground, but. Here he is. Alright. Alright, see if you can get his hand down. From up here or down? Yeah, down here. Or even if you can just hold him so he don't turn on me. I, up here. Yeah, I reach. He's under. I got his speed of his back. See, his tail is down. Right, he's in my hand, but I got to get down by your knees to get him. He feels. Uh, I, I got. Hold on one second. Yeah. Let me get a hold of his leg here. Or something. I can get a hold of it here. See my hand? Yeah. Alright, push push the tail down to my hand if you I can't, is this your hand? I'm um, grabbing? No, you're not grabbing my hand right now. Oh wait, wait, I got his hold on, I got his foot. Alright, hold on. You got him by the foot? Let me get his leg. Let me get his leg. I can't move it. I had his foot, I thought that was your hand. Leg, but he keeps pulling it back. I got it. I got his foot. You got his foot? Yeah, hold on. Just hang on to his tail. He hangs on his foot. Alright, let his tail go. Okay. Are on the back of the shell. Well, if you don't fill them, let me know because uh, it might be by his head. You'll <laughs> yeah, find out real quick if you are. Well, you move them, you're going to find out real quick. That's what I'm saying. He might be hard to get out of, so you're going to have to push in and pull on that one. Maybe move some of that oh. stuff over. Can you go underneath that one? I yeah, might be. That, able that to. log. Yeah. Maybe that little log laying there might be tough. Yeah, maybe. I got him good by the tail here. I'm just kind of feeling out where his legs are. <clears throat> He's coming. If I can get that one leg to see, it's just going. Let me get 
Grab that out of my way. Grab that out of it. Anytime I give him any leeway forward, he takes harder in. I, I know. Once they dig in, them claws in, that's what, what kills you on them. Especially on big turtles, they lock in. It's like, I'm oh, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon left one go the other day, almost caught me dead. <laughs> I had to reach in and grab it. Oh. Oh, I can only feel like the very back part of a shell. How'd you go about getting into this turtle noodling? Uh, I started back, my dad taught me years ago uh, when I was seven years old. I'm 47 now, I've been doing it for 40 years. And uh, we've been catching turtles since I was a little kid. And my dad's, my dad's grandpa and his uncle Johnny used to take him turtle fishing when he was a kid. So it's been in our family. We got like four generations of uh, turtle fishermen in our family. So we just do it on the weekends through July 1st is the season it starts. And uh, you can fish up to October 31st, but we hit it usually pretty hard the first uh, July, July and August. You know, the first two months we hit it pretty hard. And I, most of the turtles we release, I keep maybe two or three turtles a year for soup, and I'll give uh, a couple people if they want them for game feeds and stuff like that. They'll make soup, and some some people fry turtle meat, but uh, it's just something that's you know a family tradition. It's been in my family for years. You know, we just enjoy doing it. Well, I want to thank you for taking us out today. It was a lot of fun. We all really enjoyed ourselves. I hope you had a good time. That's definitely something we'd want to do again. You guys did some noodling today. We've got a bunch of turtles here. We're going to release most of these now. We're going to take a few for some turtle soup, but a lot of these little guys are going to go back in the creek and uh, keep the population of turtles up. You don't want to take too many. Mm-hmm.